What's up, SNS? Joe here again, um, bringing you another tutorial. Um, here, I'm going to show you one that's probably a little wanted, whatnot. Um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to turn a blank source into an actual trainer. Um, so, you know, here we go. Um, basically, I'm going to use the blank source released by Jeremy. Um, thanks for that. Um, this is made in Visual C. Um, so, you're going to need Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Express. Um, Express is not required. You can use Ultimate or whatever, and 2010 is not required either. Um, you do need um, 09 or up, though, because this was made in 09. Um, so, go ahead, and if you Google it, you can go to the first link. And you can just go down here to where it says C 2010 Express. Select your language, and it'll allow you to start downloading. Um, you can also make sure you download the source um, over at snsgaming.com. Um, then go to the Jeremy's thread in the C++ section. Um, you can go ahead and download that. You're going to need WinRAR to extract it. Oh, nope, he saved it as a zip. He won't. Um, so I've taken the liberty to already extract it. Um, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to open up the first. Um, it's going to say t 3 telly going to be VC++ project and it's going to be the first one not the second one over here. Um, go ahead double click on that I'll start opening it. I have ultimate because I do a lot more coding um, than just C++. I do some C Sharp and Visual Basic when I want a simple program so uh, ultimate allows me to do that um, so it's opening um, basically once it opens it'll ask you if you want to convert Go ahead and say yes. Um, if you have 09, it won't. If you have 2010, it will. Just go ahead, click finish. Um, this is just saying I've already opened it before. Um, so go ahead and click yes if that happens to pop up for you. Um, it shouldn't, but if it does, um, then you can go ahead and click close there. And here you go. So you got your header files and your source files. Um, these are the functions that you can use. Um, basically, um, they allow you to do multiple things such as read pointers, get values, write pointers, etc. Um, this is the actual code of the functions. Um, it is just separated into a CPP file compared to the H and they included the .h up here. Launch DLL. Um, don't mess with too much in here. Um, if you want you can mess with the stat hook. This is from before Big Bang so it's not going to work too much. Um, don't mess with this all the way down because that is important and if you mess with that you could get some issues um, and this is where the actual code will be going um, so what you want to do is go to your main form um, this is where the actual GUI is um, a little history about or brief introduction about DLLs um, dynamic library link this is not an EXE and you cannot run it by double clicking on it most people know that if you don't this tutorial is probably not for you yet um, basically a DLL attaches um, <clears throat> to another thing and hook I can't quite remember now but it attaches to your GUI and hooks it and then shows it as the uh, function so you're gonna need an injector for this um, Go ahead, add a checkbox. <clears throat> That's how most hacks are uh, used. Um, go ahead, double click on it. You're going to get in here, and I hate coding in this part. That's why we have the main form.cpp, because you get all these stupid, stupid IntelliSense errors. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy what you just added, which is checkbox one. So you're going to go ahead, and you're going to copy it. Then you're going to get rid of the everything in front of void. So now you just have void. And you're going to delete the capital V at a lowercase and get rid of these last two brackets. Then you go go over to main form, scroll down to the very bottom, and paste it. I just did a control P, I think. Um, I like to format it. Um, then you can go ahead and uh, make sure you get rid of the private. So now you have system void. Now what you want to do is you want to go in front of whatever it is. So I mine is a checkbox. Sometimes it'll be a combo box, it'll be a label, it'll be a button, whatever, you're going to go in front, then you type in main form and two colons. Basically, main form is the name of your form up here, and the two colons are because it's saying checkbox one is located in main form. So then what you're going to do is you're going to say if check, and you're going to do that again, main form, telling it that checkbox is located in the main form, 
check. Box 1 is checked, basically. Um, this code says, in the main form, if the first check box is checked, then do this. Else, do this. Um, so, what you're going to do now is you're going to go write um, memory is the function. Then you're going to write the address. You're going to have number of bytes and then bytes here. So you have bytes, comma, bytes, comma, bytes, and that is if you have three bytes. Um, then you're going to end with a semicolon. So basically this will say write memory address number of bytes byte 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 and basically you're going to make sure that all your addresses start with this 0x so it'd be 0x address then number of bytes then 0x byte 0x byte 0x byte and so that is basically how you would write that. Um, then you go down here um, and you can just copy this, paste it down here. Um, copy and paste won't work when for the disable because the disabled bytes are already different and uh, so that will cause an error. So um, I'm going to comment this out because 0x address, number of bytes, bytes are all undefined. So that way when I build it and you want to go build, rebuild, um, it'll start rebuilding it, but um, basically anything undefined when rebuilding it. Oh, go ahead and click save. If this pops up, just click save. Um, go ahead and let it save down here. Um, basically, yeah, that is undefined, and since it's undefined, um, that would have popped up a whole heck of a lot of errors. So make sure you actually put in real addresses and bytes here, otherwise you're not going to have a working program. Uh, still building because this is the first time I've built it. Um, basically, I'll go over I think why it builds and show you some stuff in the functions. Oh nope, just built. Okay, so obviously you have this, and it's a warning. Basically, it has to do with the send packet function, so don't worry about it. Send packet isn't working. Um, function compiled as native. Um, that doesn't matter because that um, it's just a warning and this unresolved token should not be there and it's because when Jeremy cleaned up this source um, I guess he forgot to uh, um, make sure he cleaned it up to get rid of all his old events and whatnot so um, we'll go ahead and I'll pause this and get rid of that and then I'll uh, come back Okay, so I go. Ahead, I went ahead and got rid of that error. Um, it was just a little cleanup problem that Jeremy didn't do. Um, so basically, we got the code in the checkbox, and it does this. So now you may want to name this checkbox. Um, this is just small, but go ahead. You'll go over to this side. Um, you'll scroll down where it says text, and you'll name it. So hack name, and tada. So now you have whatever. And as soon as you check that, it'll enable. As soon as you uncheck it, it will disable. And that's basically that. So um, this was, uh, uh, maybe, I'll show you guys how to uh, read a pointer as well, which can be helpful um, when uh, you want to make a, uh, um, when you want to read like HP, MP, etc. So um, go ahead, add a button and a label like I just did. Double click on your button and do the same function that you did earlier. So get rid of everything but before the void, lowercase v, and that. Go back to the main form, get on here, get rid of the private, and then go main form. And I think I'm going to have to do a part two to this, so go ahead and check out part two if you haven't seen. Um, there, go ahead and check out part two. Um, basically, to continue now, um, we added this and we added the main form in front of the button one to tell it to locate just like we did up here on this line. Then we're going to do um, read pointer. Actually, we're going to go main form label one dot text. So this is, says in the main form on the first label at the text attribute, make it equal to read pointer. 
zero x pointer comma zero x offset. Um, there's a couple um, pointers and offsets over S and S, so go ahead and check those out. Basically, this will put whatever pointer and offset, um, whatever that reads in that label one text when you press the button one. Um, if you want, go ahead and add a timer, and you can use that to constantly read it. Um, so that was basically it. Um, this was Jeremy with SNS Gaming. Go to snsgaming.com for some good hacks and whatnot. Enjoy. Have a great day.